Hello? Clarice? Hello? Please hang up and try again. All right, so today we're talking about Silence of the Lambs. I apologize for that terrible interpretation of such a classic line. This is the film poster that we are going to be recreating here today. All right, so the base, as always, you want to make it as white as possible. And I'm super excited to be using my water activated paints from Crazy FX. So we're going to start off with the white and it helps to also discuss your dinner plans while you are painting your face. Just get a nice even coat all over. Best beauty tool ever is a fan. We're gonna start in with the shadow. So going with like a deeper blue. I'm gonna start carving up the shadows under the eyebrow, along the nose. Of course, along the one side of the face. So all of the shadows are concentrated on the right hand side of the face, which means if you can picture it, light is coming in from the left side. Yeah, matte. So I'm just taking a lighter shade of blue, diffusing out that shadow just to add a little bit of dimension to it. And then finally, we're gonna go in with some black. All right, so I'm taking some blue eyeshadow and fix that hair. There we go. The diffusing the shading, just kind of trying to bring those paints together. We're gonna start off with the sketch with a soft pencil. Use the center of your mouth as sort of like the anchor point just to make your life a little bit easier. So this, yeah, the center line of your mouth is kind of like the center point and the two sets of wings will go above and below your natural mouth line. Easiest way that I found to line this up. So I haven't seen Silence of the Lambs for a very long time. This film came out in 1991, so I was a wee child of two years old when it came out, and I think I saw it when I was in college. It's been a minute, and honestly, the thing that I remember the most about this movie, which is not at all important, is the opening scene is this woman driving in her car down the road and she's listening to American Girl by Tom Petty. And I just remember feeling like very validated because I think I was in the middle of like the Tom Petty phase that everyone goes through and I felt super seen. So yeah, there you go. That was my biggest takeaway from this movie that I remember. Okay, so we're just going in with a black body paint and a fine detailed brush, and I'm just adding in just some of the black details. Things like the legs and antenna. And then taking a white, we're gonna just fill in where the skull is going to be. But then I'm just gonna let that dry, so I'm not gonna go over it right away. So next, going in to the wings, taking some yellows and some oranges. It's so a fun fact, the skull that is in the center of the moth is not actually a skull, but it's actually some naked ladies. It's based on a 1951 photo that was designed by Salvador Dali. So there you go, fun fact. So keeping that in mind, I tried my very best to like get those shapes of like the one woman sitting on the shoulders of two other women. Easier said than done because I'm working on such a small surface. And also just like the curve of my lips makes it a little hard to see all the details at the same time. But I tried my best. So just adding in some of the black into the negative space here and then adding in the teeth. So taking a step away from the skull, we're going back into the wings, adding in some browns just to give some of the dimension to the wings here. And I am just using the film poster as my reference photo. Finally, going in with some reds. Basic premise of Silence of the Lambs is a Clarice Starling is a FBI trainee on the hunt for a serial killer named Buffalo Bill. And in order to profile this serial killer, she goes to see a different serial killer who is in jail, which is Hannibal Lecter, also known as Hannibal the Cannibal because he ate his victims. Taking some eyeshadow and just tapping it on top just to sort of diffuse out those colors a little bit um, and add sort of like that dusty quality that goes on moth swings. You know what I'm talking about. 
so she goes visits Hannibal a whole bunch in the jail trying to get information and he's being very like quid pro quo you have to help me out if I'm gonna help you it turns into like this psychological battle of wits there's a very funny interview between Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert discussing this movie and they do not agree I'm gonna link it in the description below just because it's really entertaining to watch and probably a better explanation than I could give Starting to do some shading underneath the wings of the moth just to make it look like it's lifted up off the face. The very best line, it puts the lotion in the basket. So yes, Buffalo Bill captured women and was a seamster, seamstress, tailor. Tailor is the word I'm looking for. He was trying to make a skin suit out of the women that he was capturing because he believed himself to be a woman. So this is a pretty simple look to do. This is a great, you know, easy like Halloween costume or something. The one caveat being is you cannot really eat or drink anything unless you use a straw. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. That's at Shana Catherine with the underscore. All right guys, thanks so much for watching.